back, YouTube family. This is Sub Zero back in with another video just for all of you guys. You guys saw the title of this video. We're going to be installing the AWE exhaust and we have the American modified grill that we're going to be putting on our Type R. One more time, guys. Shout out to AutoTune for helping me out with the install, helping me out with everything with the build with the Type R series that we are doing. Again, guys, this is going to be the AWE exhaust. If you don't remember or if you haven't seen it, we did do the black tips and the AW exhaust on my Subaru. So shout out to AW again for hooking us up with the black tipped AWE touring catback exhaust for the Type R, the FK8. This is a 2021 Type R. We are also going to be installing the American modified grill so we can get a little bit more airflow. We also then are gonna have to eventually at some point do the hood and do an updated radiator. So when we start tracking this car, um, it does a little bit better in the heat. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. Follow, follow the journey, hit the subscribe button. Like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality. Let's have a great video, guys. Let's get it. Peace. One more time, y'all. Shout out to AWE for also putting the nice lollipop. It's their little personal touch. So you guys can see they even have the little space for the lollipops right here in the box. So if you guys get some AWE products, hope you have a sweet tooth because they do put a lollipop in there. Everything's Yeah. For the track. Yeah. Yeah. Track mods, yeah. yeah. I think he's he's going out tomorrow. Pro Friday, Friday yeah. I wanted to go, but I gotta go out of town. Got the exhaust off, as you guys can see, it's all one long piece. Good lord, that is <laughs> all one piece. Wow, this is all neat. It's all in three pieces. It's easy to take. Easy to take off. Easy to put in your car. Look at this. All right, y'all. So here's the stock cat back exhaust as you can see a lot of sound restriction definitely a much thinner pipe um definitely it's nice but just stock and then you can see the aftermarket pipes much beefier much nicer i'm sure video's doing it well but it looks so much better So that's how it is. I'm always just different cars I have. I'm interested to see how like the hangers they put for like the different exhausts. Yeah, the hangers. All right, guys, so we're back at auto-tuned, and we're gonna go ahead and put these side markers in. Gonna show you guys a nice before and after. I really think this is gonna match really well with the car. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly uh, how easy it is to pop in, pop out, and how it's gonna look afterwards. Um, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in getting these, and uh, let's get back to the video. Let's see. I'm gonna do this as the test set. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this piece out right here. And then go ahead and pop these in and install. It might help to take this little fender liner off so you guys can get more accessibility into the side marker. Uh, and it's gonna be a plug and play for you guys. All right y'all, so we got this piece off. Watch out for the little clip section right there. Make sure you guys peel that off as well. Uh, and then give me plug and play. We'll take that, put this little piece right here. Slap the new one in. Boom. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks for sure. It definitely matches the, the front much better. All right, so this is what it looks like with the running lights on. So you can see very easy to install. It goes really well. I think it matches the headlights very, very good. You guys see you got the JDM yellow right there. Um, and I'm gonna go over to the other side and show you guys how it looks. Stock, like I said, the stock ones are actually yellow. These are different uh, white lights that you can get on the aftermarket. But I wanted to go ahead and get a nice black uh, to match all the different black accents on the car. So you guys can see how it looks in white. 
and you can see how it looks in black. I think the black just gives a nice sleeker, kind of nice clean look to it, and I like it. Boom. Yeah, that black was nice. Easy, easy. That looks nice. Yeah, that looks, it just cleans up the, the side for sure. All right, y'all, so we got all these pieces in. Last part is just getting this trident piece on and then getting the tips and then making sure we uh, check for fitment and then uh, we'll do some sound checks for you guys. They're gonna totally notice because even this decal right here is different. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we just slapped that on. <laughs> in between takes. Yeah, in between takes. <laughs> That's why I was saying um, we're, we're all kind of working together to make sure we can figure this out. Maybe we get the side to side gap. Yeah, because then you gotta tighten it, and then it goes. Doo, doo. Yeah. So I can show how hard they've been working down there. I mean, as far as looks wise, the black and the the tips it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It fits the it fits the car really well. Yeah, that that's so much better. Oh my gosh. I like how it sits nice and flush, sticks out just a little bit, but as you see, it doesn't stick out from the fuser. Uh, but it looks really, really nice, really, really flush with the fuser. Uh, with the Mugen uh, rear pieces it does go really well with the three exhausts to match the three pieces on the right and the left uh, definitely like how the black kind of just matches with it so it's not over the top I was thinking about getting uh, some colored exhaust tips but I thought the black would just be a nice cleaner look for the car and that was good Are you good? Yeah.